Hello friends, welcome back to our channel. So today we will see uh, one more concept in computer organization or a computer architecture subject. So that is a instruction life cycle or instruction cycle, right? So the instruction format we have seen in our previous session and in order to execute that instruction, there should be some steps to be followed. So we can call them as a steps or a phases. So usually we call them as a phases. So in order to complete the execution of one instruction, it requires some four steps or four phases. So we'll see what is the four phases and what is the importance of each phase. And then we finally draw the flowchart of the instruction cycle of one instruction, executing one instruction, right? So our concept is instruction cycle instruction cycle or instruction life cycle so it involves a four phases so it involves four phases the first phase is a fetching so i'll write the phases first and we'll see one by one right so fetching decoding reading address and finally executing so these are the four different phases which are being involved while executing a single instruction see before going to these phases individually we will see a few concepts one is a program counter program counter usually this program counter is represented as a PC and this is a register okay and this is a register which holds which holds the address of which holds the address of next instruction to be get executed next instruction to be get executed so program counter program counter usually we call it as a PC it's a register and one more thing address register address register so this is also a register the as name itself indicates and usually we call it as a AR which holds which holds address of an instruction of an instruction address of instruction right so in the memory usually the instructions are being saved so every instruction will be saved in some sort of memory and that memory will be having address and that address is stored in this AR address register which is used to store the address right and the third one instruction register instruction register so this is represented as a IR 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 so the name itself indicates this register will be having the instruction details that means in our previous session we have discussed about what is an instruction format so that will be having the three parts one is a uh, address opcode and direct or indirect mode which we represent it as I. So three categories will be there in each and every instruction. So the complete details of that instructions will be stored in instruction register. So it holds the instruction. It holds instruction. Right. So we are going to use all these things in this particular phases. Okay. Program counter, address register and the instruction register PC AR and IR so coming to the fetching phase the first phase the first phase fetching so initially the program counter will be having the address of the first instruction so the fetching phase is used to retrieve the address from the program counter and it stores the address into the address register 
so where the address register is used to hold the instruction address of an instruction right and these address of instructions will be available in program counter so once the fetching phase means i'll write here i'll erase all these things okay fetching and this fetching phase it fetches or retrieves the address of instruction from program counter program counter so that means simply we can say ar pc so that means whatever the address available in program counter that will be stored in address register that will be stored in address register and after storing the address from program counter to the address register immediately the program counter will be get incremented because after completion of this instruction the next instruction should be executed so the address of next instruction will be saved in pc so immediately after retrieving the address from pc to ar the pc will be get incremented get incremented so the address will be get incremented so the next the address of next instruction will be stored in pc immediately after fetching the address from program counter to the address register right now the address register will be having the instruction address actually the instruction address will be in this address register now second step there is a decode what we have to do we have to decode the instruction so the instruction format is having the three phases one is the address next uh, opcode and then the mode okay so see mode opcode and the address so th these things we have already covered in our previous session right i i will give the link of this particular instruction format in the description so once you go through that one so here the address will be of 0 to 11 that means a 12 by 12 bits and 12 to 14 that is a 3 bits for opcode and 15 only 1 bit for mode and see this process will be done as a decode so decoding the instruction will be done in this one so what happens now the complete instruction is available in er er right okay now what happens in in the address register the instruction register of 0 to 11 will be stored here that means a address that means a address okay see and then opcode opcode is 3 bits okay the opcode is nothing but operation that can be done right on the registers so here it represents the 3 bits so total operations are 2 power 3 operations 2 power 3 operations all these things we have already discussed uh, discussed in, in our previous session so total 8 operations have been can be applied right like addition subtraction multiplication everything so eight operations so here we will represent it as d7 d6 and so on d0 and here we will be having ir of 12 to 14 bits that means the three bits and finally the immediate i mean the mode which is nothing but ar of sorry ir ir of 15 i r of 15 so one bit represents the mode that means either direct address mode or indirect address mode okay so this process will be done in the decode so the complete instruction will be decoded into three parts and three address registers address register and decode uh, numbers from 0 to 7 and then mode okay so after the decode the third category i mean the third phase is reading the address now the address will be read from this er register okay so the third the third phase and fourth phase are similar so the third phase 
he is reading the address and also we have seen the different categories of instructions memory registered instructions uh, registered instructions io registered instructions right so reading the address and categorize that what type of instructions to be executed whether they are memory registered instructions registered registered instructions or io registered uh, instructions right so that will be done in this third phase and the fourth one obviously after coming that we have to execute that one so whatever the code we have decoded that will be executed here executed so this is the complete process done for executing one instruction that means a single instruction right so fetching decode read the address and execution okay now the same thing we'll see by drawing the flow chart okay see let us draw a flow chart so that you can understand see the first one the first one is pc to zero okay initially the pc will be having no, nothing right so pc will be having nothing so first the address will be stored in the pc then zeroth instruction let it be at the zeroth instruction is available in pc and from that what we have to do we have to fetch that means to the address register it will be copied right now memory of address register memory of address register and similarly program counter is incremented to 1 so these two steps will be applied after the fetching and the next after that decode option will be there okay decode so ar to instruction registers from 0 to 11 0 to 11 instructions from 0 to 11 and similarly d7 d6 and so on d0 to ir of 12 to 14 so and then i to ir of 15 so this is completely a decoding process this is completely a decoding process okay so these two comes under fetching and this comes under decode after that we have to read the address so in order to read the address see here a decision box will be taken and we have to check the d7 okay the code or the op code of d7 right so if it is 0 and if it is 1 okay if it is 0 and if it is 1 if it is 0 then that is nothing but memory reference instructions so once go through the types of instructions so that you can understand so this is memory referenced instructions okay only one thing and here if is equal to 1 d7 is equal to 1 it can be io or register referenced register referenced instructions register referenced instructions so if it is memory reference equation uh, instruction again we have to check the mode that means i this one one bit it can also be either zero or it can be one so if it is zero we know that if the mode is zero that is a direct addressed instruction and if it is one that is a indirect addressing instruction so if it is an indirect addressing instruction we have to store the address from the memory of address which is nothing but a indirect so there will be no direct it will be indirect so here nothing will happens directly the execution will be done and here also memory 
reference instructions executed okay memory reference the instruction executed so this is nothing but execution process and here also directly the execution will be done so memory reference instructions executed and also the pc becomes zero and here also the pc becomes zero in this case also the pc becomes zero okay because it should move with the next instruction right after completion of the first one it should move to the next instruction and coming to this io or this is io or register because here the d value is 1 again we have to check whether i value is 0 or 1 okay here if it is 0 and here it is 1 so if it is 0 simply the register instructions will be executed the register instructions will be executed and if it is 1 the IO instructions will be executed and here also after execution the PC becomes 0 and here also PC becomes 0 So after that, what happens? In all these cases, after completion of executing this one, it will move with the next instruction. So it will move with the next instruction in all these cases. So you can see this is a decision. So not all the instructions will be get executed. So any one will be executed. So if it is memory in reference instruction, and that will be executed, and with this one instruction execution will be completed so it moves with the next instruction it moves with the next instruction okay right so this will be happened here so this is a this part is a fetching process and this is a decoding and this is the reading of reading of address and the last one these four boxes are nothing but execution phase so based upon the D7, this is most important, D7, we are differentiating whether whether the memory reference instruction type or uh, IO or register reference instruction type. And based upon the mode, again, we are de uh, uh, deciding whether it is a, uh, a direct addressing or indirect addressing. If it is a direct, then we have to execute the registered executed, uh, I mean, registered reference instructions should be executed. And if it is an indirect, the IO referenced instructions to is to be get executed so while executing one instruction this is the process this is the process all right so total four phases will be involved in executing a single instruction so one is the fetching decode read the address and finally execute that instruction so this is about our instruction cycle or instruction life cycle or phases of instruction life life cycle All right so hope you understood this one if you really enjoyed my session like my session share my session with your friends and don't forget to subscribe to our channel thanks for watching thank you very much